What is going on guys it is super here and welcome to another Injustice 2 video now today was the big watchtower live stream where Netherrealm focused on breaking down gameplay for Dr. Fate and Robin I'll have some of like some little clips of both those characters playing in the background but if you guys missed those entire breakdowns they will be linked in the description make sure you guys go check them out because uh, they were very informative and of course they're two of the most highly anticipated characters so definitely go check those out um, but before I do that as always if you guys do enjoy the Injustice 2 videos make sure you guys leave a like rating it's always appreciated the channel's growing exponentially and it's all thanks to you guys so thank you guys so much for that but let's get down to business. Let's start off with the Q&A. Uh, we got a lot of information about the game, as we always do, with these Watchtower live streams. And I'm going to break them down right now. And then at the end of the video, I'll give you guys my first impressions on Robin and Dr. Fate. So let's start from the top. Q&As are always uh, one of my favorite segments because we get a lot of information and we got a lot of clarification on some things that uh, I was confused about and you guys were confused about too. So uh, the first one here, there will be no collector's edition for Injustice 2. If you guys remember, Mortal Kombat X had a collector's edition with a scorpion statue, the gold scorpion statue that also brought the gold scorpion skin and that was the only way that you could get the gold scorpion skin it was exclusive to the special edition of the game there will not be a collector's edition for injustice 2 there will only be the three uh, i think it's called ultimate edition premiere edition and the the regular version of injustice 2 those will be the only editions that you will be able to buy uh, moving on here you will be able to unlock gear and shaders and other things that have not been announced yet, maybe premiere skins, uh, by playing the story mode. So the Injustice 2 story mode, you get in there, you're playing each chapter, which I'm assuming they're going to bring back. You know, you play a chapter per character, and you'll be earning and unlocking gear, shaders, uh, and other stuff as you go along playing the story mode. One thing that I'm happy they clarified, which I was confused about, is you will not be able to take your own gear into the story mode. So this is a question that a lot of us, you know, had because there's different gear, there's different like costumes that are used in the trailers that we've seen so far, Shadow Alliances. So a lot of us were, you know, asking, can we have our own gear in the story mode? And the answer is no. The story mode costumes and the gear that the characters have in the story mode are predetermined and are pretty much there to carry on the story. So, you know, reverse flash is in there, the flash is in there, and whatever other, you know, premiere skins are in the story mode or whatever gear the characters have is just the default for the story mode. So, you will not be able to take your own gear into the story mode. Uh, moving on here is a question that that they actually answered last week, but they specified it a little bit more this week, which is, in what way can you earn gear in the single player modes? So the only single player modes that you will not be able to get gear on, let me repeat that again, the only single player modes that you will not be able to earn gear from are practice mode, Single player versus mode, meaning you and your friend, if you have two controllers on, you're playing versus your friend, you will not be able to get gear after those matches. And single player versus the CPU. So if you're just practicing in single player versus CPU, you want to, you know, simulate what it is to play versus another human being, and you go to single player, um, single match mode, and you fight versus the CPU, you will not be able to earn gear that way. Um, but they did mention there are plenty of of new modes and modes that they haven't announced yet and different ways to earn gear so i'm glad they clarified that um, moving on here talking a little bit about the shaders um, all the shaders that are in injustice 2 are specific to each individual character so for the most part every shader that dr fate has is specific to dr fate and the only exception are the three shaders that you're going to be able to get if you buy the ultimate edition or the one shader that you're going to get if you buy the legendary edition whatever the hell it's called i'm sorry i don't remember the name off the top of my head right now um, but the three shaders that come with the special packs or the special versions of the game those shaders will go across every single character but other than those three each 
shader that characters have were meant to be and created specifically for those characters, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, last two things here, really exciting. Online mode. Injustice 2 will not be region locked. Let me repeat that again. Injustice 2 will not be region locked, which is amazing because on PS4, Mortal Kombat X is very limited as far as playing versus only people from the uh, only people from the United States. So if I wanted to play on PS4 Mortal Kombat X right now, someone from Europe, it's impossible because Mortal Kombat X is region locked. But Injustice 2 will not be region locked. So that means that once I hop on online for Injustice 2, I'll be able to play anyone from any country. I could play people from Europe. I could play people from um, Asia. I could play people from anywhere around the world without it being region locked, which is awesome because I know I have a lot of you guys who watch my videos who are from Europe, who are, who are from other parts outside of the US that I could finally get games with because... Injustice 2 will not be region locked, so that makes me so happy. Uh, moving on here to, in my opinion, at least for me, one of the most important things that they mention is there will be a new mode called Hot Seat. New online mode called Hot Seat. It's sort of like a King of the Hill, but what this Hot Seat game mode does is you have one person, for example, let's just use me as an example. I'm streaming Mortal, uh, Mortal Kombat X. I have it on my mind. I'm sorry. If I'm streaming Injustice 2 or I'm just playing Injustice 2 and I want to play versus you guys, the viewers, what I do is I start up this hot seat, King of the Hill, and what happens is I invite people like if it was a King of the Hill, but instead of having King of the Hill rules, it's just the one person who sent out all the invites who created this hot seat, King of the Hill. They stay and play no matter what so this is going to be a huge and awesome new addition for people who do you know stream injustice 2 that have some sort of fan base or viewership because if their viewers want to play versus that specific person only and they're like waiting for their turn and this is something that happens to me very often because whenever i play and stream play versus uh, versus subscribers what happens is I make a room and that room fills up within seconds there's a hundred people just waiting to play me and I do play first to whatever versus people and there's always people who never end up getting a turn so this is a way for you know you to invite a bunch of your viewers to this hot seat king of the hill and have them all play versus you only and then you know they rotate around as however many people are in the room so for example, if it's me and six other people, you know, all those six people are rotating while I stay playing uh, in the hot seat. So I think that is a really cool feature for, you know, they even mentioned specifically for people who are streaming or people who make videos. And I'm so happy they made this because not only am I gonna be able to play versus you guys a lot and a lot more people, but the game being uh, region lock free that means I could play against anyone outside of the US. So it's going to be awesome, guys. It's going to be really fun playing Injustice 2 online, and I cannot wait. So that is going to be the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. What's going on, guys? It's Super here. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you guys subscribe or check out any of these videos linked at the top. Thank you, and I will see you guys next time.